I have a group of subjects that took a particular training series and column B is their sales before they took the training series and C is their sales after they took the training series. What I want to know is whether the before and after observations are likely to have come from a distribution with equal means. So I'm going to run my two sample t-test for means. A quick note, this first type of t-test, the pair two sample for means, it's usually used when you have a before and after population where you're testing the same subjects twice over a period of time. If you have a different set of data, you're likely going to want to run one of the other t-tests. Click the Data tab. Click Data Analysis. There are my three t-tests. I'm choosing the first one, the pair two sample for means. Click OK. My variable one range is my first set of data, my before data. Variable two range is my after data. The hypothesized mean difference. Well, I'm hypothesizing there isn't a difference between the means, so I'm going to go ahead and put zero. If you do think there's going to be a difference in the means, then you need to put the difference between the means in that hypothesized mean difference box. I didn't include labels when I selected my data, and an alpha level of 0 0.05 is pretty common for this type of test, so I'm going to leave it at an alpha level of 5%. My output range, I'm going to select an area over to the right here and click OK. The mean is my sample mean for variable 1, that would be the before sample, and my variable 2, that is the mean for variable 2. Those are the variances for my two sets of variables, and as you can see it's pretty high. I've got the number of observations. The Pearson correlation coefficient. That is telling me that the two variables are highly correlated, which is good information, but that's not really what I'm looking for from the t-test. Hypothesized mean is the hypothesized mean I entered in the data analysis step. I have 11 degrees of freedom because that's my sample size minus 1. My t-statistic. This is the results of the actual t-test. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to compare my t-statistic to my t-critical value in the last row. A quick note on one tail or two tail. You would use a one tail in hypothesis testing as if you have a direction in your hypothesis, like a certain number is below or a certain number is above. If you aren't sure if it's one tail or two tail, then you're fairly safe using the two tail p value and the two tail t critical value. If you know for sure that your results are for a one tailed hypothesis, you can use these two values right above here. In this particular result, the T statistic is smaller than the T critical statistic. So there's no significant difference between the two samples. For my particular test, seeing if training would improve sales, it looks likely that it has not. And because there is no significant difference, my P value is larger than the alpha level of 5% that I entered. I've got a very large P value here.